The XB-48 bomber, created by the Glenn L. Martin Company in the late 1940s, is an important milestone in the development of jet-powered aircraft. It marks the transition from propeller-driven planes to faster, jet-powered machines after World War II. The XB-48 was a response to the need for advancements in military aviation after the war. The U.S. Army Air Force recognized the importance of jet propulsion technology and wanted a new generation of jet-powered bombers to replace their propeller-driven ones. The Glen Ella Martin Company was chosen for this project in 1944, and the design and development took place in Maryland. This venture into jet-powered aviation faced many challenges. Jet technology was still in its early stages, and there were uncertainties about using it for a large-scale aircraft. Additionally, early jet engines consumed a lot of fuel, which was a problem for a bomber that needed a long operational range. These engines also had lower power-to-weight ratios compared to piston engines, requiring more engines for the bomber to meet performance requirements. To overcome these limitations, Martin engineers came up with innovative solutions. The XB-48 had six jet engines, arranged in pairs in three pods under the wings. This design maximized thrust while minimizing the drag that individual engine nacelles would create. The development process faced delays, and the XB-48 made its first flight almost three years after the contract was awarded. Despite promising results from extensive testing, the XB-48 was ultimately not chosen, and the Boeing B-47 Stratajet became the preferred option due to its efficiency and speed. The Martin XB-48 holds a significant place in the history of jet-powered aviation, showcasing the advancements and challenges faced during this era. The XB-48 was a medium-sized jet bomber with an all-metal body. It had a sleek and aerodynamic design to reduce drag and maximize the power of its jet engines. The aircraft had a swept-wing configuration, which was a major innovation at the time and became common for high-speed jet planes. The wings had a span of 106 feet, and the overall length of the aircraft was 85 feet 5 inches. A unique feature of the XB-48 was the placement of its jet engines. The aircraft had six turbojet engines, grouped in pairs into three pods located beneath the wings. This design choice optimized the available thrust while minimizing drag. Each engine, known as the J35G7, could produce a thrust of about 4,000 pounds force LBF. This allowed the XB-48 to reach a top speed of approximately 520 miles per hour. However, these engines consumed a lot of fuel, which posed a challenge for the aircraft's operational range. Using six engines was a strategic decision made by the designers. At the time, jet engines were still new and less powerful compared to piston engines. By using multiple engines, the designers aimed to compensate for the engine's limitations and maximize the available thrust, meeting the bomber's performance requirements. The XB-48 had a tricycle landing gear configuration, with the main gear retracting into the fuselage and the nose gear retracting into the nose. This was an innovative aspect as most bombers of that time still had tailwheel configurations. The aircraft was designed to carry a significant payload, with a bomb bay capable of holding up to 22,000 pounds of bombs. This was crucial for its role as a medium bomber. In terms of performance, the XB-48 had a maximum speed of about 520 miles per hour and a cruising speed of 435 miles per hour. It had an estimated range of 3,590 miles, although this was reduced when carrying a full bomb load. The crew accommodations included a pressurized cabin that could house a three-person crew a pilot, a co-pilot, and a bombardier. The XB-48 also had a remote-controlled, tail-mounted defensive gun turret, although this feature was later removed due to the advancement of fighter aircraft that surpassed the bomber's speed and altitude. After its first flight on June 22, 1947, the XB-48 underwent a series of thorough tests to determine its suitability for operational use. These tests consisted of nearly 100 flights, during which the plane's performance was assessed under various conditions and configurations. The XB-48 showed satisfactory performance, particularly in terms of its top speed and payload capacity. However, during the time when the XB-48 was being developed, there was intense competition among different aircraft manufacturers. 
Other experimental jet bombers like the North American B-45 Tornado and the Boeing B-47 Stratajet were also being tested and evaluated for the same operational role. In the end, the U.S. Army Air Force chose the Boeing B-47 Stratajet over the Martin XB-48. The B-47 had several advantages over the XB-48, including superior speed, range, and handling characteristics, making it a more desirable option for the intended operational role. Consequently, the XB-48 did not become part of the operational fleet. Nevertheless, the lessons learned from its development and testing phases, as well as the innovative features it introduced, greatly influenced the design of jet-powered aircraft.